I love the kids in the city. I love um, all the things that they bring into our classrooms, and I think that they deserve really good teachers. When we read something, how does it tell us what's going to happen next? How does it move the story forward? I think that when teachers have the opportunity to work with kids for a whole year, or in my building we loop, so I have them for two years, you can make great strides. In this building we have kids who represent 100 countries, 80 different languages, and so in my little classroom, the kids I teach, I have a little bit of the world right here. I am learning every time I'm talking to my students it's not just me teaching them, but it truly is they're teaching me about themselves and, and I'm learning about the world too. Every discussion we have, every book we read, it's a totally different picture than it would be if I had students who look just like me or students who were of all the same economic backgrounds. Your job is to help them grow and to help them be the best person they can be and prepare them for the next level. My job is to help my students be successful and I don't think I could walk out of here at the end of the day if I didn't know I did the very best I could. The thing that excites me most about where our district is headed is that we're always striving for more. I think that we're really focused on the students. I'm here because the kids need me and, I, and I'm gonna do everything I can to do right by them. If everyone is working that hard and has these high expectations for themselves and for the people who they're with, then how can you not become the best, you know, the most improved urban district? How, you know, it's gonna happen. I've always loved working with students and kind of seeing them grow and really to watch them go from A to B and to be able to do things, it's really rewarding and I think it's something that I was born to do. But I can't imagine myself doing any other job but this one.